It's Monday, we're back at the farmhouse. I am putting the last coat of oil wax on the island. Gonna be doing a little bit of work here. You might notice that counters are missing in the back. And all the decor is gone because there's a layer of dust on everything and it's now a charging station over on the shelves. I'm gonna be on the back porch working on those countertops and Zeb is gonna be up on the roof finishing the shingles on the addition. We're super excited to be making progress on the house. All right, we're sanding the butcher block. They were being used as a work table just like the island was, and they've got some stains and things like that on them. So we're gonna just give them a quick 220 grit sand. We're also hoping that sanding them helps it take the white oil wax a little bit better and absorb down deeper than the other butcher block that we have in the pantry. Say it with me, Zeb. It is no longer a work table once we install it. It is no longer a work table. Once, Once we, we install, install it. it. There we go. Let's get this done. All right, so right here, I got a little vigorous with the saw when I was cutting it. I should have finished the cut with the jigsaw, but I'm going to use my glue trick and fill in that gap with sawdust and glue. You won't see it really. It's going to be under the sink, but I don't want it to like catch stuff and be like a place where gunk goes to hide. Fit these back in here so Jamie can start oil waxing them. So the way these are cut when you get them from the factory, they're a little too long or a little too short for our appliance set up with the stove. So I had to cut this one weird and just leave this real skinny little edge over here. But I'm gonna glue it and nail it into the other butcher block and hopefully that'll help it be stronger and I won't have to worry about it ever again. I'm using Sweet Pickens oil wax, just like we did on the island and the other butcher blocks. This is coat number one. We do about three to four coats. After you brush it on, you wait 30 to 40 minutes. Then you wipe off the excess, not all the way. I like to leave a good, healthy amount on there. And then the next day you come back and you can buff it. Luckily, most of this seam is gonna be covered up by the sink. That was our plan, right? We planned that? I think so. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna tell people I planned it. I don't know if I actually did. I'm just excited that I'm gonna have this portion done and you're gonna plumb my sink, right? Yeah. So then we'll have another sink besides, you know what I'd really like? Could you plumb the sink in the garage? <laughs> well, maybe. Just kidding. It's okay if a little bit gets on the marble, it's not gonna hurt it. Yeah, it'll wipe right off It's that white, marble. that's why everything is white, in case you were wondering. White floors, white countertops, white walls. If you remember the island, this is what three coats look like on the island. We showed you after we had one coat on there. It's a pretty drastic difference after three coats. It's got this light kind of lime washed look. It makes it look really aged but it also has a bit of a sheen to it. Like that's wiped off. Once we buff this, it'll have that sheen all the time. This Ikea sink had a special insert that came with it. 
I don't even know. Can you get this sink anymore, Jamie? Um, yeah, I just bought it at Ikea today. Nice. How much was it? Is it like 200 bucks? Yeah, it's like, it's the least expensive farmhouse sink that you can buy, as far as I know. It's a place holder. Someday I'd like to have an antique sink. So I didn't want to invest a ton of money in an expensive one. And then when we do get the sink of my dreams, this one will just resell it. So Zeb does not want to remove my favorite sink that I love from the house that we live in now, which I don't blame them because we have a lot to do. So I went to Ikea and I picked up a new matte black faucet. They make some of the least expensive, well-made matte black faucets out there. Normally they run a couple hundred dollars for this type of faucet. This one runs 119 and has these cool knobs and it's matte black, so we're gonna go with it. We also have a matte black sprayer, not from Ikea because they don't make one. My current sink does not have a sprayer, so I got this from Amazon. Okay, now that the faucet's down in the... So that bolt screws in right here and then they, they send you this fancy nut driver that you can reach really long. It's got a long handle, so if you got to really tighten it down a long ways, you can, and it's really convenient. How's it going, Zeb? It's going. This is precision work. They favor it. Oh. We're installing the faucet, but it will not actually have all the plumbing because we need to buy some parts. Right, Zeb? Right. Actually, a lot of parts. The IKEA stuff is, I don't know, like it's just, like there's a little It's that pile right there. stuff. And I have the blowtorch out because I had to persuade some things. Well, and our old, it's like the one old thing we have is this drain because it was in decent shape. And so it just requires some extra stuff. Is this side the drain side or is that side that is this the side that will have the disposal both will the disposal goes on the left with the hot okay water that's typically how that goes it i can goes see myself in your um safety glasses yeah hold it center where you want it because well, i'm going to tighten it down there, so that's good right there okay should start it to feel it getting tight yeah it's tight okay you can probably let it go you know what? I didn't realize that this was two separate sinks. Pretty excited about that. What? I thought it was just one sink. Oh, you thought it was just one big sink? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I just haven't looked at it in a while. All right, you need to drill a hole for the sprayer, right? All right, so this has been sitting a little longer than 45 minutes, maybe like an hour. And I'm just going to wipe off the excess oil wax. Not so that way it's all the way off because you kind of like to leave it a little heavy so it soaks in overnight. And then tomorrow I'll come back and I'll do another coat and another coat. We've decided that about four coats is a sweet spot with a day in between. And then end of week, beginning of next week, we'll hit it with a car buffer and give it a little bit of sheen. Always wipe with the grain because you inevitably will get a few uh, swiping marks. So it will not show up if you do it with the grain. When you wipe it back, you hardly get any off because it like soaks down into the wood. And then when you get to like the last few coats, more of it comes off when you wipe it off. That's how you know that the oil wax is really soaked in there because the oil wax really just soaks down into that wood, fills all the pores up. Okay, right here. You're just gonna guess? No measuring? Measuring? Just put it right there in that seat. Why would you, what would you measure? I don't know, I think I'm gonna put it. Because this one is halfway between this one and this one. So if you go right here in the thing and make sure the hole is halfway on this side of that seam and halfway on that side, it should line yeah, up with it. Yeah, I think if I center it right there on that, is that halfway in the sink? Yeah, I, sure. It's where it is now. We're doing it. Yeah. The good news is these countertops were not uber expensive, but like 150 per segment. So if we had to put in a new faucet and these holes didn't work, we'd just replace just that portion. Oh, but it's like a whole day of work. Well, that's <laughs> true. going for a modern industrial pot. Modern industrial, or well, here's the thing. We are mixing some industrial and farmhouse and modern elements into this whole thing. Well, also, our existing sink does not have a sprayer, and I hate it, so I don't care if it looks modern. I need a sprayer. <laughs> I gotta have a 
dishwasher, I gotta have a sprayer. There's gonna be a grain sack curtain underneath and my sewing machine is not functioning well. So unless I buy a new one or I get a friend to sew it with for me, this is gonna be open for a little bit. Sometimes you gotta get under the sink. It's like it came stripped from Amazon. Mm. Are you holding it still? Yeah, it's possible. When we first installed this faucet, Jamie was like, oh, I thought I liked that in the store, but I don't know. I don't know. But it's been here about an hour now. How do you feel? I feel like it's a little bit industrial. It's not really fancy, which I like. I didn't want a very modern, fancy faucet with a big lever and all that kind of stuff. So for me, it's good just because it's simple. Um, maybe later I'll find some farmhouse one I can't live without. But for now, for what I paid for it, it's awesome. We still have to silicone in the sink and also build a brace underneath. So there'll probably be another video for that when we finally <laughs> get the sink to working. But if we're a little bit closer, the countertops are installed. First coat on. We had a bunch of grout from doing the tile that had fallen down and we're like, oh, we're gonna sand those later. But then I was sanding them while I was worried about it, but it came right off. That's the awesome thing about having wood countertops because you, over time, countertops do take damage. These can be sanded and resealed multiple times. So I'm super excited about that because we're not easy on things. Make sure you guys are hitting up jamierayvintage.com for that white oil wax and any DIY products you need. jamierayvintagehome.com for our home decor as well as our clothing. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.